When typing Chinese on a computer, there are a variety of systems we can use. Here is the brief introduction to five of the most common. The pinyin entry system is probably the most widespread system in use in mainland China and amongst foreign learners. Basically, you write the romanization of each character in sequence and you don't need to pause between characters to insert tone marks. The downside of this input system is the large chance of errors. At the end of typing each phrase, one has to go back and correct each character like this. The system, on PCs anyway, does allow for intelligent learning and some shortcuts, although this does depend on the kind of pinyin entry system you are using. Instead of typing M-E-I-G-U-A-N-X-I for Meiguanxi, for example, you can type M-G-X, though this is only if you have simplified Chinese installed or on a Mac. Common phrases you type will also be remembered and will hence be further up in your list of choices. Here we show you how to install Pinyin for traditional characters on your average PC. It is possible to increase accuracy by typing tone marks with the traditional Chinese Xinjuin Pinyi entry system and on Max. Tone numbers are located on keys 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for respective tones 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and neutral. To choose between different options, you must go down the list and select, like so, which can be time consuming, especially when you're trying to type names. The Juyin entry system is the most prevalent entry system amongst Taiwanese, especially the younger generation. It is, in essence, very similar to the Pinyin entry system, but instead of romanized letters, Symbols representing different syllables and sounds are used, usually referred to as bopomofo, a little like learning English through phonetics. If you have installed the traditional Chinese Zhuyin input system on your computer as so, then you can check which keyboard layout you want on the Properties or Neirong tab. Here we select the standard layout. So to type Mei Guanxi, we type the A key, which is marked on the top right on Taiwanese keyboards, with the symbol M, then the A symbol, then we have to type the tone number, which is compulsory for Juyin. Tone numbers in Juyin are also marked on the top right of the keys. 3 for third tone, 4 for fourth tone, 6 for for second tone, and seven for neutral tone. The first tone is default and does not need to be typed. So here we type six to get the character may. If may doesn't come out, you can keep on typing and it should self-adjust as you type other characters. As with pinyin, this can be slightly time consuming when choosing between different character combinations as shown in the example here. The advantage to Juyin is that it will force you to remember tones and you will be able to understand when people write certain characters in Juyin to represent Taiwanese pronunciation. 
The Changjie input system is one of the more complicated input systems to use, although once you get the hang of it, it not only provides more accuracy, but it also helps you to remember how to write the characters. First, you have to learn what parts of most characters correspond to which keys on the keyboard. The Tanjia image is marked on the bottom left or right of the keys of most PCs, and the bottom right of the keys of most Macs, as seen here. Q being Shou, W, Tian, E, Shui, etc. Examples would be the gold, Jin, on the C key, as well as its original shape can go to form the following shapes on screen, as well as the penultimate strokes of si and pi. Shi on the S key can represent qu zi kuang, or the first stroke of qu, the first two strokes of ji, the first stroke of si and dao, the third stroke of cheng gong the cheng, and ye shi the shi, and the first four strokes of Chang Cheng the Chang and Biao. This may sound complicated, but it's relatively easy to pick up after a bit of practice. For a more comprehensive guide to which keys represent which component part, you can go to the Changjie input method page on Wiki. Then you have to learn how to dissect the character into its component parts. This generally moves from left to right, top to bottom, and outside to inside. For characters that are geometrically connected, i.e. all the component parts can be seen to be touching, you take the first, second, third and final component, or just the final if it's not long enough. For example, ch is geometrically connected, therefore we take shi the J, Tian, W, and Shi, J. The first, second, and final parts of the character. For geometrically unconnected forms that can be broken into two subforms, like Ni, for example, we break them down respectively into components, then take the first and last component of the first subform and the first, second and last component in the second subform. In this case, it would be Ren O for the first subform, which is both the first and last component of the first subform. Then Er can be broken down into Dang Gong the Gong and Huo, of which Gong makes up the first and Huo is both a second and last component. With geometric forms that can be broken up into more than two subforms, xie, for example, we take each subform and break them down into component parts. Yin, for example, is made up of wen zi to and then two e m's and finally a ko r. So first we take the first and last codes of the first subform. Here it will be Wen Zito and Ko. Then we take the first and last components of the second subform and the last component of the last subform. So Xie will be Wu Ko, Zhu Zhu, and the Ge, which also stands for a dot. Again, for more info, please refer to the Tanjie input method wiki page. Su Cheng is basically a shortened version of Tangjie, where you take the first and last component of each character. But this throws up the same problems as Pinyin, where you have to go back and correct characters. Bo Xiaomi is another popular input system, although it needs to be bought for around 1000 NT. It is based on components just like Changjie, but incorporates a range of other different elements, such as sound, like B for Ba, 
resemblance to Roman letters such as mean AOP and their English meaning such as ch using C for car. This is the fastest input system with the record at around 200 characters per minute. Different input systems can improve different aspects of your Chinese. So why not try a few before settling on one?